Yeah, Corey's been wanting me to make a video, another YouTube video for my fans out there, or for my subscribers. I'm not cut my hair yet. I'm trying to get me to cut my hair, but I haven't done it yet. I'm sitting around doing the same old shit I always do. Cold, kind of cool outside here today. Holbrook, Arizona. That'll take me a few shots and take a few hits off of my weed. Got some Gorilla Blue. I got a got my scooter going. I got my parts in the mail. Got my tools to put it on with. Got my new tire. Believe it or not, I got I bought these online on eBay and come in the mail. Looked at them, and I'll be damned. They're craftsmen. So I'm gonna keep buying from that guy if I need any more. <clears throat> I got the metric and the standard. That's metric. I put it in red. This standard, regular. I got it all. We make a review on how to take that tire off. Chinese guy takes it off. You don't even worry about taking it off or taking the old one off. He just cuts it off. That's why I got me a hacksaw. Got me a good Stanley there. I got my blade. I'm going to cut it so far and then I'm going to have to use a razor knife to cut the rest of the tire off. And I was supposed to get three of these little things. Tire irons. 12 inch tire irons. For the little tire. You haven't seen the tire though, have you? Crank cone. The difference is because of the little holes in it. You see them honeycomb holes? That's what they call it. I gotta take these right here. Put one right here, one over here like that. Put this and put the tire in the microwave those two minutes to get it softened up. And I was supposed to have three, one, one for right in the middle there. But I'll figure I'll use a screwdriver because I gotta have a screwdriver anyway. On the old one, I gotta take the hacksaw, cut it down, take the blade and probably cut this part right here, that little lip. That'll be down inside there, so I'll take the blade, take the screwdriver and spread it apart, and then take the razor blade and cut it the rest of the way off and peel the tire off and put this one on. Instead of taking all of the time and taking this one off, the old one off, you know what I mean? Then you take these right here is what I got to uh, cut it with. That's a good one too. Cut the rest of it off. And all I'm waiting on now is my rubber mallet. Because when you put it back on, these things are, I mean, these things are hard to work with. Look at that. You just don't want to bend or nothing. So it's going to be hard to get on there. I'll make a review when I get ready to do it when I get the rubber mallet. Yeah. Might have a little help. I don't know. Corey don't ever come around. But some, yeah, he come around yesterday, but yeah it's like a forklift tire you know how it's pure rubber no inner tube all right you guys next time <laughs>